Hey guys, it's Caleb Sarong. Come have a look what I do on game day. Doesn't look that good. It allows us to come back to what our main focuses are. This is usually just before we get in though, like just try and pump up a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I can't say I'd be, uh, I'd be very good, but it does a job for me at home. Most mornings use this thing. I've got a new cafe down the road that's, uh, that's been taking taking a few of my mornings away from me, but this is still still does a trick. So, and yeah, don't don't worry about getting any latte art. I got, don't have that in my repertoire. Doesn't look that good. What? You've done a barista course. Well, I haven't done a latte art course. This wouldn't be acceptable in London. You're not going to end up in New York with something. Like <laughs> yeah, it's a work in progress, guys. So, like, an early game, I'd wake up earlier. So, like, say if we're playing a one o'clock game, I might wake up earlier because I'll just get going. But, like, for a night game, 7.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30 is usually kind of the standard wake up time. Yeah, everyone's different. I've got a feeling. I know Andy, had, Andy loves to sleep in, so Andy'd probably get out of rolling out of bed about 10 o'clock, I reckon, and then going back and having a nap at 12. Everyone's, everyone's different. Like, it's like my mind's changed a lot since I, from my first year to now. Just like game day, just how I feel like I best prepare, because really, there's not much you can do today physically that's gonna make a massive difference come tonight. More so it's mentally and your energy levels and how you feel going to the game. Because like physically you've done all your work during the week, so today's just that little icing on top. Uh, I used to love just having a massive big breakfast, which you'll see getting cooked this morning, but it's not, not so much for me. I'm eggs in the morning before games, um, and it's pretty much before training as well, so um, any main training session I'll be two, two, two pieces of sourdough, um, probably three eggs, and then a bit of avo if I'm feeling it, but not always, it depends. But yeah, game day, it's more around fueling, fast fast carbohydrates, white white bread, white rice for lunch, have sushi for lunch. Um, and yeah, trying to keep it as as light as possible, but getting a lot of carbs and energy in. We, well, <laughs> <laughs> we've met with a wedding planner. Yep. We've met a few, and there's one that we like just really connected with and like yep. really liked. Caleb credits you with the uh, way this house is set up and how it all looks. Um, well... Well, I didn't do it, did I? Yeah, I hope so, because it wasn't him. <laughs> Caleb gets really annoyed because every few months I just come up with a new furniture proposal and I'm just like, let's just sell everything and like buy out all new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Our current seasonal pillows are out, so if you like them, <laughs> they'll, they'll only be here for another two months. <laughs> weekly, weekly dinners, we love hosting here. Andy and Liz love hosting. Will Brody doesn't like hosting. Will does not host. Doesn't host. <laughs> not sure why. Don't. Loves coming and eating other people's food though. Uh, but no, nah, it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is where the shoes are. I remember my second year and I bought my first pair. These are my first pair, the Yeezys. But from there, I just started accumulating and getting some more. Favorite pair. These ones have been worn the most. They go with everything. Yeah, I wear them with with a lot of stuff. Wear them every week, like a few times. Took them to Europe a couple of years ago and just thrashed around in them. So they're the kind of ones that I thrash around in. These are the other ones I've, I've worn a lot of. Like, as you can see, go with everything, white. So that's, that was my 21st birthday present from my my family. Um, yeah, love love my NFL. Um, that's, aside from AFL, that's my favorite sport. He's an incredible goat, but yeah, loved kind of following his preparation and what he does to get his body and mind right. It can become all consuming and, and um, take over a little bit, but yeah, Chloe and Twix is massive. Um, it's good just when you get home, you're, you're not super, you don't have to talk about footy or think about footy too much. You can just kind of talk about other things and, and just try and be present with whatever I'm doing, whether that's 
um, I really enjoy cooking, so getting home and um, just throwing myself into that or any way where I can relax and decompress a little bit is, is a win for me. Be free, child. Go. Twix. <laughs> yeah, hello. <laughs> Yeah. Zoomies. <laughs> she knows, she knows what to do. Not shy. Yeah, I definitely think now compared to your first years, like you were saying, you used to be you used to be very regimented and yeah, everything sort of had to be to walk like to the T, whereas now I feel like you've worked really hard to cut out any superstitions or anything that you thought would dictate the way you played. Mm. Yeah, we feel like it's a big focus for us over the last few years and going forward and that's come from Garlo and JL and Joey now and Peter Bell in the past around wanting to make the partners feel like they're a part of it and share it with them because we spoke about the commitment they do and, and sacrifice. Since I've come to the club that's been a massive focus from the top down which is really welcoming for anyone that walks in the doors I think. No, I haven't really kind of thought about what that means being, being captain of a, an AFL football club and what not and obviously being vice captain this is my second year now with Andy so um, really just been trying to support Alex along his journey of, of being captain and seeing what he's done this year and how he's responded to last year has been incredible to see and, and trying to support him along that. Along my journey of juniors and stuff I was captain of a, a few sides. It's, it's exciting, I'm super excited tonight. Um, to lead the boys out and seeing Andy do it last week was great, um, get a great win and, and lead the boys into the rooms and sing the song together and, and that's the golden night to, to do the same thing and be a part of that. Yep, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm taking the toss this week because he lost last week so he's been sacked but nah, we're doing it together and, and we're really supporting each other which is great. It'll be a tails I reckon. Either way I think I'll just point, Andy did that last week, win or lose you just point which way you're going and that's a bit of a power move so I might try that one. I'll uh, get moving, um, have a bit of a stretch, um, usually I chuck my recovery pants on and then yeah have some sushi for lunch I reckon. Get some sushi, um, that's a new one this year and have a nap and that's about it yeah. Yeah, so got got my prep card stuff here. So I kind of always do this um, about half an hour to an hour before I leave home, so it's nice and fresh. It's all pretty much the icing on the top now with all the knowledge and stuff. But yeah, just before I leave, try to have a bit, bit of a look through it and look through the notes in general and watch a little bit of footy as well before I leave. Took Steve for a walk, just had a nap, chilled out. Yeah. Playing heaps of Monopoly deal with um. Oh yeah, you got clothes. clothes yeah. Over. Can't get a dub, man. Just you can't. Life. One dub for the whole weekend so far. This is usually just before we get in though, like Ooh. just try and pump up a little bit. But yeah, definitely some sort of rap uh, or like, yeah, rap is pretty much pre-game. I know, Switter's playlist. Nah, we need to mix it up. <laughs> yeah, Bob said some, there was a Collingwood player that did that ages ago in the grand final, like. You just waited for him to point. Just like, like once start. he went one way and then just point the other way. <laughs> Pure boys dominated. Vossi, six goals, three. Far out. Drew's 15 and three goals. Jeez. I've never seen them. Me neither. Starting with their best midfield in there right now, though, young Sarong and Brochel. It'll be a great battle between Nankervis and Darcy as well, too. Yeah, that big rucks going at it. Close last week, I like him, and Brendan Cox will see him back in for the first time in a long time to see how they go. Of course, no one's Brendan Cox coming back into the side. And as we get set, round 17 from the West, Saturday night footy, Frio and Richmond, and here we go. Sturt somehow crafted a kick to 
almost clean ball, feeds it back. Frederick on the follow. Right on the siren. They showed some fight and spirit, Richmond. Too forceful as they jump to third. They hold their spot in the top four.